Good morning on Tuesday the 22nd of February and then an opening prayer for today. God of the living word, open our ears to your message. Open our eyes to see your wonders. Open our hearts to experience your love and open our minds to your wisdom today and evermore. Amen. Today's readings are from Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37, and Psalm 55. It's really difficult to know whether an event or item or action is of lasting significance. In the case of a wedding ring, we know it should have long-term importance. But with other things, we think that they are highly significant at the time, yet within a matter of months, they are forgotten about and consigned to history. Yet something which can seem quite inconsequential turns out to have wide-ranging importance. We just haven't been able to grasp the bigger picture. I suppose that if someone says, I've got something really important to say, we should take note and give them our undivided attention. Yet quite often, it doesn't work out like that, does it? The important issue can be glossed over or crowded out as we continue to witter on inanely about what we're having for tonight's meal or yesterday's football results. Either we're failing to grasp the importance of a matter or we're not really interested. Our attention is taken up with something else. There can be few things which are more important than someone telling you that they are about to die. Jesus shares this vital piece of information with his disciples. They are the people who have been closest to him for three years, but how do they react? You'd expect that this information would grasp their undivided attention. But that's not the case. They didn't understand what uh, they are told by Jesus. Although Jesus couldn't have been much clearer in what he said. So perhaps the disciples didn't want to know they wanted to block it out because the implications were too awful for them to contemplate. Although in the past they haven't been at all reticent in asking for Jesus for clarification. They are being told about an event which will have a global impact and significant impact on their own futures. So what do the disciples do? They have a petty quarrel. I'm better than you are. It has the feel of five-year-olds in the playground. But then perhaps I'm doing five-year-olds a disservice. Was this really all that was on the disciples' minds? And was it really all they wanted to talk about? We now come to the next prayer, one which picks up on events following Jesus' crucifixion. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladden the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
for today's prayer points. Let's pray that notice is taken of the concerns of the clinically vulnerable linked to the removal of COVID-19 regulations. Let's pray that those on the margins of society have a voice. And let's pray that we actively listen to our children and young people. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our blessing for today. May God give you grace to confess the faith of Christ crucified, and may God give you strength to offer yourself to him. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and your loved ones today and evermore.